Hey there, my name is Tobin Carpenter, and I'm an MSP consultant at ProVal Technologies. Over the next several videos, we'll be performing a deep dive into policy objects and how they can be configured to facilitate automation within your environment. In our VSA Basic series, we introduced you to the concept of policies and how objects can be configured to automate endpoint settings within the VSA. If you need a refresher on this, you can find it in our channel. In a previous video, I showed you how to set up a policy to configure scanning and update windows for Windows updates. In this video, I will expand on the additional options that can be configured for patching. Let's get into it. So the first one we have is the patch reboot action. This allows you to determine what the, how the machine is going to handle reboots after patching is completed within the VSA. We have several options in here. Reboot immediately after update. We have an option to reboot at a specific day and a specific time after updates are complete. We can warn the user that the machine is going to reboot in X number of minutes. This is not a permission. This is just warning them so that they can close and save. We have skip reboot if user logged in. We have an option that I really like. If user is logged in, ask to reboot every X number of minutes. I do note that 60 is the max number that you can go in this option uh, until the reboot occurs or reboot if user not logged in. If user logged in, ask permission, reboot, reboot if no response in X number of minutes. Of course, reboot if the user not logged in. If user logged in, ask permission, do nothing if no response after X number of minutes or reboot if user logged in. You also have the option to do not perform a reboot after the update. And if a reboot is required, you can send an email to your service board. You also have a few options in here on procedures that you can run prior to a machine being rebooted and then after a machine is being rebooted. The next one we have is the patch settings. In here, the first section we have, we can set procedures to occur before the initial update, after the initial update, before automatic update, and after automatic update. Uh, in most cases, we will use a suspend alarm, especially for servers. So suspend alarm 120 minutes, and then suspend alarm for 120 minutes before the update occurs. This will, for the majority of the purposes, will allow you to not be notified uh, that, that a machine is offline due to it rebooting during the patch window. We also have our patch policy membership. Uh, patch policy membership, the patch approval policies, are the policies that you use to tell the machine what updates to approve and or deny. So I have one created for workstations and servers. We're going to use this one for server, so we're going to select the ProVal server policy. And you do that by just clicking and then pressing the over arrow, and there you go. You also have the option to create alarms for specific items that are to deal with patching. So we can create an alarm, we can create a ticket, we can run a script, or we can send an email. So for the most part, you're going to use this for if a patch install fails, if you are concerned about those items. So we'll select patch install fails. Now I've got a ticket created in case you are using uh, an integration, such as uh, directly to BMS or through MSB Assist to automate or ConnectWise manage. And we can also set it to send an email if the if in the case that you are not using an integration that creates tickets through the service desk. The last option we have is the patch windows automatic update. When this is checked, it's going to disable windows automatic update. That way patch management will be controlling the patching of the machine. Do note that this may not work in all scenarios for all OS versions. That concludes our discussion on patch management configurations. Thank you for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Kaseya, ConnectWise, Automate, ConnectWise RMM, and more. Do let us know if there's anything particular that you'd like to see.